Hello, it's Mr. Sorpas here. Today I wanna show you a method how you can create a studio for the seamless patterns in Blender. We don't exactly need this cube so we can move it aside and then let's add here a plane instead. So shift plus A and then mesh and then plane. We can delete the center of this plane so let's go in edit mode by pressing tab and then press X and then delete and select only faces. Okay, let's go back to object mode with tab and then let's select the camera here. And we wanna move the camera to the center also. So let's change the rotation to be zero here and then the location to be zero also here except the Z axis. Then we wanna lock all of these settings like this. Okay, so let's select this or plane and we wanna have the array modify here. So let's select this wrench icon here and then add modify and select an array. And uh, we will put for the count to be six. Like this and disable the relative offset and add constant offset instead. And then for the distance X, let's put here two meters. And that's fine. And then uh, let's add here also merge. And then hide this array modify. And then let's put here another array modify. And this is also going to be six. Like this. And then for the constant offset and disable the relative offset and activate merge. And then for the constant offset, let's put the distance x to be zero and distance y to be two. And that will make for us the grid we are looking for. Okay, so let's edit the camera a little bit. So let's select the camera and then let's go here to the output properties. Click this button here and then let's put for the resolution 248. And that's a very good size for the final texture. And we can go to camera view by pressing number zero. And then what we can do next is that we will go here to the camera properties. Click this camera icon here and change the type to be an orthographic instead. And then for the orthographic scale, let's put here eight. Then what we can do next is that we will select this or grid and press G to move it. And if we hold control while moving, it will snap to the background grid like this. So let's move it this way that there is one square cap in every direction around the camera view and then it's perfect. Now we can lock also all of these settings so that we don't move this grid around. And this is the studio. Now I will show you how you can basically use this. So you go here and select this or grid and then go in edit mode by pressing tab and then select everything with A and shift plus S and cursor to select it. And now whatever you create here, it will be repeated everywhere in this grid. So shift plus A, let's add here, for example, a circle. And um, let's make this to be maybe something like this and then maybe make it a little bit smaller. And as you can see, it will work perfectly and extrude and S to scale. But yeah, I, I'm uh, okay. So this is a problem. If you move it down like this, it will kind of overlap. So you sometimes need to change how you want to place your objects so that they don't overlap in a bad way. And just keep that in mind and then it will be very good and useful. So if I render it now, it will look like this. The problem is the lighting. So we need to change that also. So uh, let's select the light source wherever it is. It's here. And let's change this to be sun instead. And now the lighting also is kind of repeating because the sun light source is always going from the same direction but it's a little bit too bright. It's actually a good idea to go here to the rendering mode and change the strength to be five. Also, if you wanna have something that looks like a 3D, let's say that you wanna have all of these bigger objects to be kind of uh, pushed a little bit up. You do it typically by just extruding those like that and it looks good in this angle. But if you go to camera view, you see that, okay, we actually don't see that special effect because uh, we are straight up. So what to do is that you will fake it. You will move this top thing a little bit 
to some direction let's say you move it like by axis a little bit and now it looks like 3d and actually if you wanna fake the perspective also you can scale this top one a little bit and of course you also add some materials there basic materials can be done here go to material properties and click new and then let's add here color for the material and then let's also go here to the world properties and then let's make the background to be something else you can use white or black or whatever color you like to i'm going with black with this one and now it looks like that the wall scene is a little bit too dark so i will duplicate my light source so c plus t and then air to rotate and 180 degrees and i will change this light source to be a little bit bluish so it looks like a shadow maybe it's a little bit weaker light source let's select for some of those and then let's make those to be something else so here go to materials and then plus and uh, add new material and then assign so now i am having red and white materials cursor to select that and then let's add here maybe cube and i don't know why would i do this but let's rotate it like that and then rotate like that and i will get this kind of effect i'm gonna delete those completely different thing let's assign that here and now i'm having the pattern which i'm looking for this is a thumbnail material i think you can also hide this grid by clicking this button here uh, tota, uh, you can hide this grid by clicking this button here and then if you just wanna render this out you just press F12 and here is the finished pattern it will work perfectly okay as a last step i'm going to show you a few of these my files which i created using this method so this is my stars pattern and you can actually use an images to create uh, patterns so you can load a photo of your own face and create a pattern using this method here this is my apple file so i did draw these apples using blender and then i'm having here these spheres i don't know what i was thinking while doing this but yeah thing here is this my flower pattern or whatever those are and this is something where i wanted to do something a little bit more complex and i ended up creating this i have no idea what this is maybe it can be floor tiling or something in some bigger scene and this is another file i actually had to render this with cycles because there is so much complex reflections going on and here we have some stars as you can see and here we go very strange pattern also but anyways this was everything i had in my mind for this video so thank you so much for watching and god bless